Should you take a vacation to Florida? Hello everyone and welcome to For These Are My Thoughts. I'm Blake. It is season two. We're here. We made it to season two. If you're new to For These Are My Thoughts, our goal is to help you laugh and relax. And today we're going to do that by talking about the pros and cons of taking a vacation to the sunshine state of Florida. Hannah and I recently took a vacation to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so I am basically an expert in everything about Florida. So let's just dive right in with an obvious pro, and that's the ocean. Uh, The ocean is a huge draw for going to Florida, really just a beach in general. Uh, Hannah and I spent two days on a beach in Fort Lauderdale, and it was my first time seeing the ocean and being in the ocean in my entire life. And let me say, I was not blown away. Uh, Like, I've seen water before and I've been on a beach before. But that said, the ocean was pretty cool. Uh, Being on a beach was really nice. It was very easy to relax and just kind of hang out. So I definitely get the appeal of the beach. The beach is a huge draw, like I said. Uh, There are shops all along the beachfront. uh, And there's plenty of beach to go around. So you don't have to worry about being overcrowded or anything like that. But all the beauty of the beach can't hide the fact that it is insanely humid in Florida. Lots of people know that it's going to be humid in Florida. I knew that going in, but I did not know that it was going to be insanely humid in Florida. You can't sit outside in Florida. You can't stand outside in Florida without sweating. You could be in the shade, you'll still sweat. Uh, It's almost like swimming when you're walking. There are only two places where it wasn't humid in Florida, and that was the beach, and that's because of the breeze off of the ocean and any building with AC. So literally you could, you can't go anywhere. (laughs) And again, a lot of people know this. A lot of people deal with it clearly in Florida Uh, and humidity might not be a problem for you, but it's a problem for me and it's my bloody pros and cons list. Another pro and one that I did not expect when we decided to go to Florida was how awesome the food and drinks were. I did not think of Florida being a place where you would go and get some awesome, awesome food. But Hannah and I ate a ton of food and got a ton of drinks. I shouldn't say a ton of drinks. We got drinks <laughs> in some really awesome places. Uh, we ate at a taco bar where the tacos were made by a chef, and they were they had dynamite margaritas there. We also ate uh, authentic Cuban food, and we tried octopus at a C- authentic Cuban restaurant. It's octopus. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we didn't like it. We also ate at a diner that made French toast with banana bread. There were tons of ice cream places and gelato. I tried gelato for the first time, and being from Wisconsin where beer is a staple of every supper, Hannah and I were able to find not just one brewery, but multiple breweries. We found one brewery that served not just their own home-brewed beer, but also their own homemade, authentic Italian pizza. I even was able to try Chick-fil-A for the first time. So here, I'll show you a little bit of me eating a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Okay, the first ever Chick-fil-A bite. Yeah, so we're on vacation, and there's Chick-fil-A, and I've never had Chick-fil-A. So I've got a nice Chick-fil-A sandwich. And I'll probably will dip it in the Chick-fil-A sauce, but I've never had that either. Um, But what should I expect, Hannah? Good. (laughs) Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, Chick-fil-A's all right. The AC is on, but I uh, dipped it in some Chick-fil-A sauce. Hannah thought that this angle was funny, so... We are a comedy channel, after all. Oh, that's good sauce. What is in that? It's like a little smoky. Yeah. Oh. Mmm! Chick-fil-A sauce, holy moly! But with all of that awesome food comes a con, and that is that the food, and really just Florida in general, is expensive. And this might have to do with the higher cost of living that comes with being in Florida, being close to the ocean, being on the beach and all that, but it was super expensive in Florida. 
And Hannah and I knew that it would be expensive going there. It's a tourist state after all, but some meals at places that were similar in quality to what we have here in northern Wisconsin were double the price. Here's another example. Food is expensive. At the grocery store, a 12-ounce jar of peanut butter, which is the smallest jar you can get. It's maybe like this big and maybe that big around. Not very big. Not a lot of peanut butter. Just enough to get us through the week. Cost $5 in Florida. That is insane. Again, we knew it was going to be expensive. Uh, if you wanted a cheap vacation, you should probably go to like Iowa or Nebraska where there's nothing. Uh, but it was ridiculous at times how expensive it got being in Florida. But even though Florida is an expensive place, there is also plenty to do that isn't expensive. Uh, there are a couple of shopping districts in Fort Lauderdale that you can just walk up and down for hours. We did that quite often. There was even a place that was basically a giant party on a road. Uh, there are beautiful parks. You can rent bikes, something that Hannah and I did the entire week. And that allowed us to get from place to place for cheap, but also allowed us to see some pretty neat residential areas in Florida. Uh, there's also the ocean. There's museums. We went to the Museum of Nature and Science uh, and tested out some different things there. That was a lot of fun. Uh, there's even small art galleries and larger art museums. And that's just scratching the surface of the things that you can go and do inexpensively in Florida. And while there's plenty to do in Fort Lauderdale and I assume in Florida as a whole, something that we noticed and kind of got annoyed with was that it is super busy in Florida. Uh, people drive like absolute maniacs in Florida. Uh, the roads are constantly busy. They're honking at each other. They're flipping each other off. Uh, it is what I assume being in Texas rush hour is. Uh, people are dipping and ducking out of lanes. It is wild. The only time that it wasn't busy, that the streets, the roads weren't busy, filled with cars, was when Hannah and I were either in a shopping district uh, where the roads are very narrow, uh, and that was during the weekday because people were working, or when we were in the residential areas of the city of Fort Lauderdale. In fact, when we landed in Fort Lauderdale, when we were Ubering to our Airbnb, I thought we were in New York City on accident because at 1 a.m., when we got into Fort Lauderdale, it was just as busy as 8 in the morning the next day when we were walking to the beach. That is insane. People in Florida, get a life. Stop driving around. But like I said before, there is a ton to do and there's even more to see in Fort Lauderdale and in Florida in general. Uh, going to the ocean was certainly groovy. There were people that literally would just walk up and down the oceanfront all day just to hear and see the ocean. They wouldn't really even get in. Uh, but Fort Lauderdale, on its own, is known as a hub for art. And so we walked into quite a few art galleries uh, where they display and sell art. And I did not know beforehand, but we found out, Hannah told me, uh, that you aren't supposed to take video or photo <laughs> in art galleries because it diminishes the art. So sorry to the people that made some art in there that I took videos of. Uh, but that said, there were there were some pretty cool art things in the galleries. Hannah really liked uh, these glass uh, these glass blown kind of party platter type things that we saw. Uh, we did see some cool art, some cool astronaut statues and, and different things. The entire Fort Lauderdale area is fairly bougie. There's a river walk where we saw iguanas. Fun little fact, there aren't many squirrels in Florida because there's lizards instead. Florida squirrels. But don't get it twisted. While we saw lots of art, while we went into art galleries and a huge art museum, art is a scam, especially art in Florida. We found a gallery uh, where there was this white painting that you can see me staring at being very confused with because it is just a massive white painting with some texture to it. I am fairly confident that I could paint that painting. I could make that. You want to know how much that painting cost? That painting cost $8,000. $8,000 for something that I could make. For something a child could make. That is ridiculous. And that's not an anomaly. In, the, in that entire art gallery, there was nothing cheaper than $2,000. That is wild to me. Now, granted, there was, again, some cool art in there. There were some cool glass-blown things in some of the art galleries we were at. Uh, but it was wild how expensive things were in that art gallery. We even went to the art museum, the NSU Art Museum. We thought it was going to be awesome. We thought there'd be good art in there, but guess what? We hated it. 
here's some footage of me and Hannah complaining about the art that we saw in Florida. Well, Hannah, we just was in a weird one. Mm -hmm. What did you think? It was weird. <laughs> Why is art so weird? <laughs> this is art, and it is literally two pieces of clothes on a clothesline, followed by sheets. We're getting very annoyed at the art. We were just in a room where we didn't take a video, but it was literally just one color piece of paper. Art. Florida might be a hub for art, but it ain't Bobby Ross art. That's a fact. But all of that said, all of that little satirical business aside, uh, we definitely, Hannah and I, would recommend taking a vacation to Florida. It was a great time. We enjoyed our time there. Uh, but thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed your time watching this video. Maybe you agree with us. Maybe you laughed or maybe you learned something today. If that's the case, consider subscribing. Drop us a like. We're almost halfway to a goal of 500 subscribers. And when we hit that goal of 500 subscribers, we're going to give away limited edition merch in a giveaway. Kind of like this cool shirt that I have on right now. Uh, but make sure that you comment your thoughts on the great state of Florida below. Watch out for those Florida men. And until next time, these are my thoughts, and I'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please give us a like if you enjoyed the video today. Uh, you can subscribe hitting the circle button, or you can click the box to watch more for These Are My Thoughts episodes. Thanks so much again. I'll see you soon.